Hello, and thank you for taking the time to watch this short movie. Now, you may be under the impression that all mobility scooters are the same. They all offer similar levels of stability, they all have comparable driving positions, they all turn in approximately the same space, and they all have roughly the same feature set and functionality. And as a casual observer, you may be forgiven for thinking that was true. But as you'll discover, there are in fact some major differences between the various scooter ranges on the market today that can have an enormous impact on your personal safety, your posture and comfort, and your level of confidence and enjoyment while using a mobility scooter. Over the next few minutes, we'll show you the very latest mobility scooter innovations. You'll learn about the key differences between three, four and five wheel scooters. We'll highlight some important considerations and we'll demonstrate how the very latest innovations set a new benchmark in safer mobility. Now, choosing a mobility scooter is an important and very personal decision. Because of the sheer amount of choice out there, it can easily feel overwhelming. But don't worry, once you have a good understanding of what's available, deciding which vehicle is ultimately best for you soon becomes a lot clearer. And talking about choosing, in the early days, choice is something you had very little of. When they were introduced, three-wheel mobility scooters were the only option. And of course they're still an option today. They are generally short and manoeuvrable and offer a good turning circle in restricted space. But crucially, these types of scooter easily become unstable, even in everyday situations such as when turning on slopes or on more uneven ground. Back in the 80s, four-wheel scooters were introduced to address these stability issues, and they do a relatively good job, but in resolving one problem, they've created several new ones. The first of these is the significantly reduced leg and foot space, limited by the new position of the front wheels. Now this, of course, will impact on your driving position, as users are now required to either rest their feet in front of or over the wheel arches. The second is their reduced manoeuvrability when compared to three-wheelers. They simply can't turn as tightly given the same space, which is such a crucial feature when visiting shops or turning on narrow pavements to avoid roads, for example. And thirdly, because of the new posture users are forced to adopt, the centre of gravity on most four-wheel scooters is pushed further towards the rear, which clearly will have an effect on stability, especially when vehicles are climbing higher curbs or attempting steeper slopes. So even with the latest four-wheel scooters, significant compromises still have to be made. So what is the answer? Do you compromise with three or four-wheel traditional scooters, or is there something else that overcomes these limitations? Introducing the next generation of five-wheel Quingo mobility scooters. Quingo are very different. They're a range of five-wheel scooters with a protected and patented design that performs way beyond the limitations of both three- and four-wheel scooters. And it's their unique range of technologies and features that mean no other scooter range offers more stability, more agility, more comfort. So let's just take a closer look at some of these features in more detail and explore further what is so different about Quingo. Well, let's start with comfort. Do all scooters provide the same level of comfort? As we've seen with most four-wheelers, feet and leg space are greatly reduced. And when compared to Quingo's feet-forward adaptive footplates, the advantage becomes clear. Only Quingo offers its users the ability to adjust through all of these parameters. And it means precise, independent leg and foot positioning, and up to 80% more foot space than an equivalent length four-wheel scooter. And that means less stress for your back, hips, knees, and ankle joints. So whether you're four foot four or six foot six, all this adjustment means comfort and the best possible anatomical driving position. This comfortable sitting position is only possible when all permutations of adjustment are available and set correctly for each individual. And whilst many three- and four-wheel scooters have some of these adjustments, only Quingo has them all. Because comfort and posture are such an important area, the development team had Quingo tested by one of the UK's leading human factors consultancies, Davis Associates, who conducted an anthropometric posture review comparing Quingo to standard four-wheel scooters of comparable length. Their conclusion stated that compared with four-wheelers, Quingos are more adjustable in their setup, allowing them to better meet the needs of the individual. Quingos provide a comfortable driving posture for a greater proportion of the population. And Quingos facilitate a greater hip angle range than four-wheelers, and without compromising the angles of the knee or the ankle. 
And finally, Quingo's driving controls are easier to reach for most users. Next, we'll look at stability. And do all scooters provide the same level of stability? Well, as we know, only Quingo offers a world-patented five-wheel stability system, which crucially means greater turning stability without compromising on manoeuvrability. And in addition, it means superior control on inclines and slopes and when using higher curbs. Plus, as we looked at earlier, Quingo's forward sitting position means a centre of gravity that's further forward too, which improves stability on steep hills and again on higher curbs. Plus, it aids in steering traction when navigating potholes or bumps on either roads or pavements. Even in extreme situations, Quingo's active tri-wheel steering easily navigates and stabilises on steeper uneven gradients, climbing smoothly and safely. You also get smoother curb handling, anti-tipping and auto anti-grounding features. We call this Curbmaster, and it's another patented feature unique to Quingo. Obviously standard anti-tip wheels found on traditional scooters are a welcome addition, but in certain situations they can leave users grounded and in a vulnerable position stuck on a higher curb. Curbmaster completely eliminates the possibility of this, automatically powering you and your Quingo out of danger. It also reduces the shock when descending higher curbs and of course offers comprehensive anti-tip protection as well. Because stability is such a key area of safety, the design team commissioned Fraser Nash, a world-class systems and engineering technology organisation, to conduct agility and stability analysis. And in tests comparing a selection of traditional three-wheel scooters, the Fraser Nash consultancy concluded that the five-wheel Quingo remained stable on the flat and on inclines at significantly higher velocities than their three-wheel counterparts. They were also able to descend notably higher curbs without tipping. The team also commissioned the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency to conduct an independent stability report. In this analysis, Quingo and an equivalent length three-wheel scooter were tested for dynamic stability while turning on a slope. And while the three-wheeler on test began to tip at just six degrees, the five-wheel Quingo passed a test maximum of 10 degrees without fault. Quite a difference for such a common everyday manoeuvre. And while we're talking about everyday manoeuvres, do all scooters turn in the same amount of space? The short answer is no, of course not. Many factors come into play which affect a vehicle's turning radius, but with the added stability offered by five wheels, only Quingo turns this tight this easily, and it means safer, tighter turning. And when directly compared with a four-wheel scooter of comparable length, Quingo not only enjoys vastly improved manoeuvrability in shops, negotiating crowds or simply turning on a narrow pavement, but also it means in practical terms that significantly less reversing and fewer three-point turns are required. Agility is another area where you need your scooter to perform. And in recent independent analysis conducted in November 2013 by Chris Thorpe Associates, Quingo was proven to have a tighter turning radius than any currently available four-wheel scooter of equivalent length. But what about you and your particular situation? Do all scooters adapt so well to specific needs? Again, the answer is no, because only Quingo has posture control with adaptive footplates. That means your legs and feet can be positioned and supported independently and precisely. Quingo offers up to a staggering 80% more foot area than an equivalent length four-wheeler, with adjustments in multiple planes to ensure a safe, natural and comfortable ride for the vast majority of people. In fact, one of the many nice comments we regularly get from users is that with Quingo, they feel as though they sit in the scooter and not on the scooter. And of course, a good posture precisely right for you means maximum comfort for every journey. And while we're on the subject of adapting, larger Quingo models offer an especially advanced seat slide, which extends access space by up to three times, which is ideal for anyone suffering with arthritic knee joints or stiff legs. And lastly, Quingo takes up less space than you think. All Quingos fold and many models dismantle completely for easy car transportation and for easier storage. So for practical scooter ownership, adaptability is important too, but perhaps not as important as our last key area. And that is, do all scooters handle curbs in the same way? And unsurprisingly, it's another no. Most currently available scooters, three or four wheel, only handle curbs when approaching them from head on, i.e. at 90 degrees. Whereas Quingo is also designed to climb and descend curbs of up to 3 inches at 45 degrees. 
And this multi-angled approach means users stay safe and stable even in restricted space. It is the only active tri-wheel steering system in the world that offers this ability and it works equally well going up as well as coming down. With so many additional features and so much advanced technology involved, it's reassuring to know that Quingo has been rigorously and independently tested by multiple international test houses. And it's why the entire Quingo range comes with a three-year manufacturer's warranty. The entire Quingo team make the process of acquiring your Quingo safe and easy, and they're here to support you for the entire journey. Safety has always and will always be our priority but we only want you to enjoy the benefits of Quingo if you are safe and able to do so. And to ensure this, our Blue Diamond Driver Check is a free ROSPA compliant safety assessment that demonstrates you meet the required standard. It also entitles you to display the Blue Diamond badge on your scooter, verifying to those around you that you are both safe and able. As you can see, mobility scooters are not all the same. Only Quingo has its advanced five-wheel stability system, which is protected worldwide by granted patents that mean a range of genuine safety features that simply no one else can copy. Only Quingo offers full ergonomic posture control with their adaptive footplates for superior comfort even on longer journeys. Only Quingo is proven to be more manoeuvrable than comparable length four-wheelers and offer more stability than three. Only Quingo adapts in so many ways to suit your specific needs and requirements. And only Quingo handles curbs at angles and is equipped with the unique Curbmaster, all for your safety. There's lots more to discover and a lot of good reasons to see and try Quingo for yourself on your roads and your pavements. So why not arrange your free no obligation home demonstration today? It's quick and easy, and as we know from thousands of satisfied customers, is by far the best way to really appreciate the Quingo difference.